news now from Senate Budget and Homeland Security. Senator Roger Marshall. Senator, a pleasure to have you back on. Okay, Senator, first let's deal with this. The president announces his 2024 bid. You're now moving on a resolution against Biden's DHS Secretary in Mayorkas for his role in the border collapse and still crickets, nothing. On your Senate report, overwhelming evidence the pandemic did likely leak from two lab accidents, at least in China. Right, so all that's going on, and we're all wondering what job is Joe Biden trying to fix? Think about what he's done. We have Biden inflation, which has destroyed our economy. He's erased our southern borders, and now 300 Americans are dying every day from fentanyl poisoning. He's destroyed the morals of families across the nation. He wants boys competing against girls. Um, this world that Joe Biden has created is something that none of us dreamed of. Even I underestimated what Barack Obama has told us, is don't underestimate Joe Biden's ability to mess things up. You know, Senator, and then there's this. How is it that the Biden White House can do massive end runs around the Senate, around Congress, for e electric vehicles and power plant rules? I mean, the Supreme Court already ruled last year the EPA cannot regulate greenhouse gas emissions from power plants that the EPA doesn't have the authority to force car makers to sell a specific number of electric cars. The Obama White House attempted all of this and it didn't hold up in court. Right, so Joe Biden doesn't care about the rule of law. He doesn't care what the Supreme Court has ruled. Look, this is another example of the climate demagogues attacking hardworking Americans. Folks like that make those Malibu, Chevy Malibus up at my GM plant in Kansas City, their plant's going to be shuttered the same year that these uh, regulations would go into effect, regulating tailpipe emissions. Look, uh, we don't have the infrastructure for these electric cars yet. We don't have the electricity to do it. Again, these rules are by, written by people who worship the climate. Let's watch Democrat Senator Joe Manchin. Uh, Senator Manchin's really angry. He's saying that President Biden is violating the Inflation Reduction Act promises and, and legislation and laws on energy. And you're going to see House Majority Leader Steve Scalise speaking as well. Watch this. We're not even energy independent ourselves. You cannot remain and be the superpower of the world unless you have energy independence and energy security. We have the gas, and we have the oil, we have the coal. We can do it better and cleaner than anywhere in the world. Why would he want to go and kneecap the very source of energy that's allowing America to lead the world in lower emissions when all the countries that he gets on his private jet and flies around the globe emitting all kind of carbon going to, in Europe, it's crushing middle-class families, and it's making our country less competitive to countries like China. All of the products, the solar panels, over 90% made in China. The car batteries, you know, everything's going to be an electric car. They want to get rid of the combustion engine. Uh, all of those car batteries are made in China. They won't even let you mine critical minerals in America. What do you think, Senator? Right. Well, this is another job we're afraid Joe Biden's going to finish, and that's his attack on American energy. Look, I grew up in the oil and gas industry, still, still live there. Number one is we can't get permits. Number two, we can't get financing. And then we can't find people to go do the jobs e either. So Joe Biden continues to attack energy, driving the prices of gasoline up. Uh, this is why we call it Biden inflation. He owns this, and this is why America is going to fire him in two more years. You know, ca electric car maker manufacturers, they're all already raising prices on their cars. People aren't buying them. The uh, Biden subsidies don't cover the, the tax credit is gets cut in half if the material sources for the batteries aren't made in the U.S. We have billions of dollars of losses in this area. The top wind energy companies also reporting billions of dollars in losses. GE, we're talking Vestas, too. So, you know, how can they ramp it up? By, they're, gonna, they're trying to ramp it up by forcing it down the U.S. taxpayer's throat. And that taxpayer's going to have to foot the bill. Right, so this is part of that Biden attack on hardworking Americans. Those same union workers that I was talking about would probably have to work for 15 months to buy that Chevy Malibu um, or the new electric car rather than the Chevy Malibu. So that's what we can't tolerate. Joe Biden driving the price up. He's continuing to attack us at every level. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing. I mean, it looks like electricity from wind power grew like 17% in 2021. But then there's talk that the wind farms kill whales. I mean, it's just really a mixed bag. Senator Marshall, a pleasure having you on. It's good to see you. Okay, House Oversight.